Hello and welcome to Alexpo and today I want to talk about the future of Harry Kane. Between Prince Philip passing and the pub's reopening, the only other thing the media has been interested in is the future of Harry Kane. The Spurs striker is having arguably one of his best seasons ever, all the while his Spurs teammates flatter to deceive and leave the club unlikely to finish in the top four. But how much longer can a player like Harry Kane go without playing Champions League football? How much longer can he go without winning any trophies? Well, if the reports are to be believed, his time could be up this summer, with a lot of rumours that he could be on his way out of Tottenham. We've seen Man City linked ahead of Sergio Aguero's departure, while Man United are also reportedly keen. Now, I know that if he went to City, he'd be guaranteed trophies in Champions League football, but what would happen if he went to Old Trafford? Well, using Football Manager 2021, let's find out. The transfer is on. I've set it so that on the 1st of August 2020, Harry Kane will swap Tottenham for Manchester United for a huge £100 million. He'll sign a five-year deal on £250 a week, but in that time, can he prove that he was right to leave Tottenham? Let's find out. Right, here we are at the start of the simulation, the 27th of July 2020, and as you can see, Harry Kane is all set to join Manchester United. Kane will not be a Tottenham player for much longer, having agreed a move to Man United, £100 million on the 1st of August. So we're only a few days away from him being unveiled as a Man United player. But how well will he do in the red of Manchester United? Can he propel them to the title? Can he win an FA Cup with them? I mean, at the minute, his trophy cabinet's bare as anything. He hasn't won a single thing in his career. All he's got is a few runners-up medals and an MBE. But at Man United, can he go on and get some silverware? Let's simulate a year in the future. Let's see how season one goes. Okay, here we are at the end of the first season of the simulation. Harry Kane has ended his first year as a Manchester United player, finishing third. Unable to top a Liverpool and Man City, even with the addition of Harry Kane, Man United have only been able to come third. They were only just behind Man City on goal difference, which will be giving them flashbacks of that time they threw away the title. But to be fair to Harry Kane on a personal level, he's had a wonderful season. The only man that has spoiled his first year at Man United is Kevin De Bruyne. And Kevin De Bruyne had a slightly higher average rate and he got one more assist and he equaled him for Man of the Match awards. As for Tottenham without Harry Kane, they're not even going to be playing European football. Jose Mourinho's got the sack. It's all going Pete Tong for Tottenham Hotspur. Have they even signed a striker in the absence? They haven't. They haven't even brought in a replacement striker. They've just had... Carlos Vinicius leaving the line, Son Heung-min, Son Heung-min's played through the middle and it's delivered Tottenham a 7th place finish. But as for Harry Kane, while there hasn't been success in the Premier League in terms of trophies, he's had a wonderful personal season. Has there been any success elsewhere? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is still the manager obviously. Let's check the schedule out, see if there's been any joy in the Cups. The League Cup, they were beaten in the final, the mid of the final. They were beaten 2-1 by Southampton. That is, that is quite abysmal, to be honest. Champions League, they were beaten in the first knockout round by Sevilla. That's very poor. In the FA Cup, they were beaten in the final there as well, losing 3-1 to Manchester City. After one season, Harry Kane has already passed up two golden opportunities to finally win a trophy. They reached both domestic cup finals, but they were beaten by Southampton and Man City in the League Cup and FA Cup, respectively. Let's check Kane out, let's see how he did compare to his teammates. Harry Kane was the best player at the club, even better than Bruno Fernandes, the only player at the club to get higher than an 8 on average. 27 goals, more than Fernandes, more than Rashford, more than Martial, more than Pogba. Did Martial even get many goals? He only got 12. 18 assists as well, he's beaten everyone on that. It's been a wonderful first season for Harry Kane. Average in the league of an 8.05. And while he's playing very well in a red shirt at Old Trafford, he hasn't got a trophy after season one. But the signs are promising. At Tottenham, I mean, I know in reality they've got to a cup final, so perhaps in a few weeks they could beat Man City, but I'll be honest with you, I can't really see it happening. At Man United, he's reached two cup finals in season one, and he's got very, very close to a trophy. But what will season two bring? Let's simulate another year into the future. Okay, here we are at the end of the second season of the simulation, and while they finished close at the top spot, Man United have once again came third. They got 79 points, five shy of the winners, Manchester City. They only lost one less game than Man City, but they were five points shy, and despite all of that, yet again, Harry Kane has been absolutely exceptional. He's been even better than the season before, an average rating of 8.24, 14 match awards, 
Not the highest score in the Premier League for Man United. That was Marcus Rashford who got 18. And as for Tottenham, they're going down even further. They're down to 8th now, managed by Roberto Mancini. Who have they got up front? They have got Memphis Depay. I mean, that's a pretty good sign-in. Not quite as good as Harry Kane, but I mean, considering last season they have put Son up front. I mean, Son would work up front. He did work when Kane's been injured in the past, so ignore that. But let's focus on Man United. Harry Kane, after his second season, he's already the skipper. He's replaced Harry Maguire. But has he lifted any silverware in his second season at the club? They got off to a wonderful start, to be honest, even though they got beat by Tottenham in, in Game 3. But it was a wonderful, wonderful start. The Champions League, obviously they made it through. League Cup, they were beaten in the quarters by Aston Villa. Didn't make the final like they did the year before. FA Cup, they were beaten in the semi-finals by West Ham, losing 1-0. And the Champions League, yet again, they were beaten in the first knockout round, this time by Inter. So, I mean, the performance in the Premier League has been good, but still only good enough for them to come third. And in the Cups, they've done worse. Two seasons in, will Harry Kane be regretting his decision? I mean, the performances, as I say, have been exceptional. 10 goals, 11 assists, 14 Man of the Match awards, and an average rating of 8.24. I mean, to be honest, you'd think he would have scored more goals than that. I wonder where he's playing in this Man United team. Is he playing as an out-and-out -out striker? Yeah, he's playing through the middle. I wasn't sure whether we'd have Martial through the middle or Greenwood, but no... It is Harry Kane, Harry Kane who is, to be honest, stifling the development of Mason Greenwood. Not playing as much football as he should be, not scoring many goals either. And for all they've spent £100 million and they've had some wonderful performances, hasn't delivered any trophies after two seasons. And to be honest, season one was better than season two on that front. At least they made a couple of cup finals. And the record books will still state they only came third for the second season in a row. Come on, Harry. You've proven us wrong here. You should have just gone to Man City and won the title at a whimper. Let's simulate into year three. Surely year three is the year that Harry Kane finally gets a medal round his neck. Okay, here we are at the end of the third season of this simulation. And it is deja vu yet again. Harry Kane may be the best player in the division, but he isn't a Premier League winner. Yet again, it is Liverpool and Man City out in front, while Man United have had to settle for best of the rest as they come third. They were 10 points shy of winners Liverpool. They got 76 points. And Man City, they're not bothered about not getting Harry Kane because they've got Kylian Mbappe leading the line. And he won the Golden Boot with 23 goals. Kane's still the best player in the division with an average rating of 8.28. He got 13 Man of the Match awards. Number 12 still on his back, which isn't... Isn't a particularly suited number to Harry Kane. But for this is his third season and he's got better and better year after year. Harry Kane is playing some wonderful football in the peak years of his career. But is it delivering any trophies? Let's see how they got on in the cup competitions. As we know, it's a third season in a row where they've came third. He's still the skipper, still managed by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. In the cups, how did they get on? League Cup, they were knocked out straight away by Man City. Jaden Sancho's there as well. This is a pretty elite Man United team. And it's an elite Man United team that isn't winning anything. They were beaten in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup by Sheffield United. Harry Kane did get on the score sheet. He opened the scoring. But they were turned over at Bramall Lane. And in the Champions League, they reached the quarters where they were beaten by rivals, Manchester City. They were absolutely smashed. 7-2 on aggregate. Harry Kane did get one of those goals. But that is a pretty appalling result. And it ends another disappointing season for Harry Kane at Man United. Yes, as we say, he's playing brilliantly. But the rest of his team just aren't matching him. I mean, this is a pretty exceptional team. They've added Lucas Hernandez, Corentin Tolisso, Ahmed Diallo's coming through. Who else have they got? Jaden Sancho, Leon Bai, Knight Hernandez. I mean, I don't know why I included him in that. He's not quite at the same level as Sancho. But still, this is an exceptional Man United team. Obviously, Bruno Fernandez is still there. It's Harry Kane, obviously, still the best player. I mean, that trio there, Kane, Fernandez, Rasha, that bit should be winning trophies. They've still got Paul Pogba smiling, not twisting every time something goes wrong or his agent opens his mouth. But after three seasons, Harry Kane, all he's got is the captain's armband. He wants to win a trophy and is excited at the team's chances in the Champions League. I mean, I wouldn't be too excited, Harry, because he's not even getting close. Close to the got is the quarterfinals. How have England been doing? I'm going to assume they haven't won anything. World Cup, they didn't win that. European Championship didn't win that either. Harry Kane can't even get close to a trophy. But what will happen in year four? Let's simulate another year into the future. 
Okay, here we are, the 16th of June 2024 is the end of year four of the simulation. And my gun, Man United are going backwards. No longer are they the third best team in the Premier League, they're down to fourth. Chelsea have came out of nowhere to come second to get 88 points and challenge Man City. Meanwhile, Man United, I mean, they've still been pretty comfortable in the top four. Arsenal nowhere near. As you can see, Tottenham not even getting into European football anymore, so they're really suffering without Harry Kane. I mean, Man City have got Erlen Haaland now. They've got Haaland, De Bruyne and Mbappe. It's basically cheating. Adding Harry Kane to Man United has done absolutely nothing, especially when Man City are spending this kind of money. I mean, I assume they're spending big money. I don't think they've got Erlen Haaland for a Twix and a packet of Quavers. Harry Kane, second best player in the division, just behind Kevin De Bruyne. More man of the match awards than anyone. How has it gone for Harry Kane? The number nine now. His average rating's gone down slightly, but it's still exceptional. Four seasons in a row to get above an eight is incredible. 15 goals, 7 assists, 15 Man of the Match awards. But is he a trophy winner? Let's find out. I mean, he's consistently playing in the Champions League. That is one thing that Man United have delivered, Harry Kane. But in terms of trophies, how has it been going? In the League Cup, they were... How far did they get? They were beaten in the final. Chelsea beat them in extra time to win 3-2. It was a wonderful season for Chelsea. And it was a one where they won a cup and came second in the Premier League. Elsewhere, how did they get on? FA Cup semi-final, beaten by rivals Liverpool. And in the Champions League, they were knocked out in the first knockout round by Borussia Dortmund. I mean, they had an exceptional end of the season in the Premier League. The last time they didn't win was the 13th of March against Arsenal. After that, they won every single game. And that was still only good enough for Man United to finish fourth. I mean, this is an exceptional team. Kane, Rashford, Fernandez, Sancho's getting in on the act now. Max Ahrens has arrived. Cucurella, ex-Barcelona lad. Donny van der Beek's not really getting many of a game, but that's that's par for the course, really. They've got Carlos Vinicius. Maybe it's Harry Kane's got a good rapport with them after the year they've spent together. Well, I suppose technically on this, they haven't actually spent that year because we've not had the year where they would have been together at Tottenham. Anyway, four seasons in and I'm wildly disappointed. Harry Kane... He's got a new contract, he's still on 250 grand a week, he's got an extra year, so he's going to be there until 2026, so that's two more years in his contract. But, it's just not going well for Harry Kane, 92 caps for England, 51 goals, I mean you kind of doubt Harry Kane's performances, but you can't doubt his performances for Tottenham. It's just not delivering trophies, at this rate Harry Kane's probably going to go down as one of the greatest ever players, never to win a single trophy. But let's go into the fifth and final year we're going to look at. Surely, surely Man United can win something and prove Harry Kane was right to swap Tottenham for Man United. Because at the minute, it's been a little bit... I was going to say it's been a disaster. It hasn't been a disaster. Let's, let's, not, over, let's not go over the top. But it hasn't gone too well in terms of trophies. In terms of trophies, it's been horrendous. In terms of personal performance, he's been wonderful. But anyway, let's go into year five. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we are in the fifth and final season we're going to look at. And despite Harry Kane's best efforts, he will not end this simulation as a Premier League winner. They're up to third again, but they're 10 points shy of the winners, Manchester City. And that's even with Harry Kane being the best player in the division ahead of Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland. He got 13 assists, 17 man on the match awards. But in terms of goals, I mean, City's front two of Mbappe and Haaland are quite frankly ridiculous. Let's see Harry Kane... He's got a contract until 2028, so there's still going to be more time for Harry Kane, but unfortunately we haven't got time to look at it. This has been the joint best season he's ever had in a Man United shirt. 18 goals, equaling his tally in the Premier League from his first season. 13 assists, equaling his best. And more Man of the Match awards than ever, 17. With the number 9 on his back and an average rating of 8.28. But it still hasn't delivered the Premier League title. Obviously, he's going to still be the best player at Man United. Oligan Solskjaer is still the manager. Has there anyone else been added to this team who can take them to the next level? It doesn't look like it. It's still the same team that's been finishing third pretty much every year. But have they won a trophy? Let's check the schedule out. Let's find out. Start with the League Cup. They're still in it. They're still in it. We're scrolling. We're scrolling. Quarterfinals. They won that. Semi-finals. They won that. And the final. They won it. They beat Liverpool in the final with 10 men. Harry Kane, in the fifth and final season, has finally got himself a trophy. And it is a measly League Cup, a Carabao Cup, 
a tournament that in 2025 probably won't even be sponsored by Carabao. Has anyone ever had Carabao before? I've got a tin of it, but it's been out of date for about three years and I'm a little bit scared to open it. But that is probably what Harry Kane's won. And elsewhere, they didn't win anything else. FA Cup, they were knocked out by Liverpool. Champions League, beaten in the first knockout round. But that doesn't matter because Man United have delivered a trophy for Harry Kane. He is a League Cup winner. Proving that that £100 million transfer was worth it. We will leave this simulation with Harry Kane boasting a record of 74 goals in 171 appearances. I mean, that rate isn't as good as what he was getting at Tottenham. But I mean, the performances have been out of this world. And finally, Harry Kane has got a trophy. Something, a medal he can put round his neck. He can show it off at the pub. He can take it to show and tell. He can give his kids a go of it. Oh, for Christ's sake, this hasn't been worth it. Five years and all he's got is a measly League Cup. Harry Kane, don't bother your arse. If you're not going to leave Tottenham for Man City, just stay there. If you're going anywhere, make sure you're going to go somewhere where you guarantee trophies. Because at Man United, has it really been worth it? I mean, the League Cup's better than he's ever won before, so it probably isn't that a certain extent, but kind of expected more. Hasn't even finished second in the Premier League. I mean, did Tottenham even do that? No, they didn't. They didn't even come second that year when Leicester won it. They dropped down to third. Anyway, I am rambling. We will leave it there. Harry Kane. Let me think again before joining Man United because clearly they need more than you to take Man United back to the top of the Premier League. We will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.